Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I hope you have already given CSI net exam. If you're watching this video, I'm quite sure that you have given CSI net exam and you are waiting for your result, right? And I know and I can understand that how frustrating it is uh, to wait for the result when you already have your scorecard with you, especially for those who already know or they have their marks uh, and they know that, okay, I have got like, I have got enough marks to get GRF or especially for those who are, who are in a dilemma that whether what will be the cutoff, uh, whether my whether I will be JRF or I will be just net or uh, those who are in a dilemma that whether I will be net qualified or not. Okay, so for all these type of students, it is really frustrating to wait for the cutoff, the final and the official cutoff to be announced. And uh, I don't know uh, why it is taking time, but yes, I know this that CSIR has tweeted few days back that they are going to announce the result within this week. So I'm expecting the result in next one or two days. Maybe today you, I'm uploading this video. Maybe today or tomorrow or a day after tomorrow. Within these two, two three days, you will get your result. Okay. Now, the thing is why I'm making this video because I just want to talk about it. I want to uh, share a few things that what exactly you should do uh, instead of waiting for the result. Okay. So see, there are so many things which you can do instead of waiting for the result i know that once you have given the exam once you have got your uh, like scorecard and the result and the cutoff is not out that that type of feeling or that type of dilemma that because you are like you are sure also that you are getting it and you are also not sure because you don't have anything in written format right so in that whole scenario there are so many things which you can actually do and uh, one more thing which you should know is that after few years or after let's say few months uh, when uh, you are going to tell somebody that I got my result on so and so date and there is uh, and the cutoff was delayed and uh, like so many forms are coming up and you are not filling out all those so, so nobody is going to listen or nobody is going to take up those excuse that uh, although these are not excuse but still people are not going to understand this that uh, it actually was not your fault it is the fault of CSIR and to be frank, this is sheer irresponsible behavior from CSIR what they are doing and they are like they are because of their behavior because of whatever they are doing because of what they are delaying the result and they are you know all these things which have happened in the last one or two years they are just losing their credibility although CSIR is still one of the most credible exam after MSc and if you want to go for assistant professorship or if you want to go in academia if you want to go for research this is something which you have to cross but uh, there is something which we say that uh, like ethical or you can say that a responsible behavior from the uh, from the organization which we are not uh, like which we are not able to see in the last one or two years right especially uh, since the covid has uh, hit us since 2020 so since that year the the cycle has been disturbed the exam cycle has been disturbed uh, results are being delayed uh, like so many mistakes are being done uh, exam center problem so many things are happening like it's it's totally chaos I'll talk about it in a separate video because I'm not going to discuss it over here I'm just I just want to talk about uh, to all the aspirants to all the sp students who have given the exam and waiting for it see you should not like your career or your personal uh, academic career should not suffer because of irresponsible behavior of a particular organization your career is yours you have to take care of it you have to take proper decisions for it so you have to fill those times okay these these gaps see uh, the result is not announced yet so many uh, like iits iasc all these forms are already gone like if you if the result would have been given in the last week before october end uh, iasc uh, bangalore form for uh, like for the position of jrf was up till 31st of October and if it would have been announced many of the students would have filled the form because they would have got JRF and they would have filled the form and uh, that's uh, that's what it should have been done right because the cutoff or the um, scorecard was announced I think in the 21st or 22nd of October right that was something around that day so yeah there was plenty of days in which or I think 25th of uh, do let me know in what date it was I just forgot the exact date but yeah there was plenty of day after the scorecard was announced that they could have given the cutoff but still like it's it's mid of November it's like three weeks now and they have not announced it yet so what I am trying to tell you is that you should uh, like you should not just sit and wait for the result instead of that try to do something productive in these times see preparation for the other exams like for gate uh, and for IT jam or whatever exam you are giving or for TIFR 
preparing for these exams is also important or these are also the things which you are going to do but this is the time of the year when you have to be very active there are so many opportunities which comes within this time of the year because whatever is going to happen in the month of february march and april in the next year their forms their application are now being released by different institutes so i'm going to talk about for different students like those who belong to different uh, like you know different class or different level and i'm going to talk about that what they can do what i feel that they have some options left with them so those who are in masters already like those who have not qualified their masters they are in their masters they are in their msc first year second year any semester like first semester second semester third semester any semester for you guys this is the very important time this is very golden opportunity which you should uh, you know which you should grab because summer internship programs like those internship which are going to be conducted in the month of march april may june in different iits and different isers so all those forms are uh, released in the month of november and december so this is the time when you have to be very active over the internet you have to keep on looking their official website you have to keep on checking that whether they are uh, releasing any application for uh, for different uh, you know uh, like internships or not and uh, i i have already discussed about the internships i have made a dedicated video on internship on my another channel that is all about research i'll give you a link of that video in the i button and also in the description of this video that what are the benefits of doing internships before joining research or if you are if you want to go for the research field right so that is one thing which you can do if you are in the masters right apart from preparing for the next exam uh, that is common that is constant you have to prepare for gate you have to prepare for the upcoming net or anything which you are planning next but apart from them these are additional things which you should look upon besides just waiting for the result okay now let's say you are someone who are already who is already msc qualified uh, who is like who has qualified their masters and just want to take admission in research for you guys also forms are releasing like different iits are releasing their form some want your uh, you know jrf letter some don't want jrf letter so do one thing just fill it if you think that your score is enough and you are eligible like you will be able to qualify jrf in that case just fill the form and just mention that you have got the jrf because you cannot just wait for the result to be announced right so just fill the form and uh, if the date is like if the date is if the if the final date of application is going by right so just fill the form and just mention that you are jrf and within like i as csir has said in their tweet that in the next one or two days they will give the cut off and the result will also come in a week so with that we'll be having the proof also that yes you have jrf in case if you are in a dilemma in case if you are if you are thinking that you are on the borderline in that case you can restrict yourself you, you should not fill the form but in case if you are confident enough that yes you are getting jrf in that case fill the forms of different iits isers whatever they are like whatever forms are coming up for phd entrance okay uh, because this is another cycle of the year in which they take phd students so go for that apply there and like uh, try to join them okay one more thing which you can do see for msc pass out student internships are very limited there are very 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 few internships which are there for msc pass out student uh, for ms for those who are already enrolled in msc there are many internships which iits and isers conduct but those who have qualified msc those who have completed their msc for them there are very less uh, opportunities for internship program but for you guys there is one uh, more thing that is called as uh, like uh, project assistant or research associate uh, sorry research assistant okay as a ra so you can join different uh, like um, uh, different uh, institutes as a, a project assistant or as a research assistant for the sake of getting information or for the sake of getting experience of the research so that is also one thing which you should look upon this is for those who have qualified their masters and waiting for the result okay now talking about those who are in their uh, phd who are enrolled in phd in their first year or like first semester of phd and they have filled the form and they are also waiting for the result see fun thing is for the phd student you must be having thousand of things to learn thousand of skills to be learned not thousand but yeah still there are so many skills to be learned during your phd so keep your uh, you know uh, keep your eye on that try to learn more and more skills also for you guys this is the time where a lot of in uh, like lot of seminars lot of uh, conferences are being conducted lot of workshops are being conducted so try to look upon them uh, like try to look upon different websites of different institutes try to apply for them and uh, try to conduct or try to you know attempt those uh, like in uh, those workshops and conferences that is going to be very useful in your phd journey 
तो आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड आई हैव जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट इट बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज आई एम गेटिंग सो मेनी मैसेजेस ई मेल्स इंस्टाग्राम मैसेजेस दैट सर वेन द रिजल्ट विल कम आई नो सी वी डोंट वी कैन नॉट प्रिडिक्ट दैट वन सी एस आर इज गोइंग टू गिव द रिजल्ट इट शुड हैव बिन गिवन अलॉट बैक एंड इट शुड हैव बिन गिवन लाइक अलॉन्ग बैक राइट विद इन वन और टू आई विल से विद इन अ वीक ऑफ अनाउंसिंग द स्कोर कार्ड दे शुड गिव द रिजल्ट or the cut off but since they have not done that what we can do we don't have any other option uh, we should keep moving with our own career because our, our irresponsible behavior of our organization should not implement or should not impact your career okay it should not impact your academic profile or it should not impact your time so that's why i made this video i just wanted to you know just tell you that there are so many things that you can do and you should do that okay if you want to add any other thing which you think that that can be done uh, within these days there are other options also so if you know about any one of them do let me know in the comment section below i'll pin your comment so that others can also read about it and that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and all the best for your result in one or two days as per the tweet of csir we are expecting the result so let's see that whether this time csir fulfills their promise or not and uh, whether we get the result in one or two days or not So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching, and all the best for your results. See you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Hey Bye -bye. guys. So I teach live on an academy plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category, and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes. paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n_huda that's it for this thank you so much